Hey everybody, it's Nick from First Coast Math Clinic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve systems of equations using the substitution method. In this video, we're going to go through a slightly more challenging example. If you want to review the steps to solve systems using substitution and go through a couple easier, more introductory examples, you can check out the link for the video that's going to appear right now, as well as at the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. So our system is negative 3x minus 4y equals 2, and 3x plus 3y equals negative 3. So our first step in solving the system using substitution is we want to isolate a variable. We want to get a variable by itself. So I'm going to isolate this variable. That's my, my, my choice. I'm going to get that variable by itself. So I have negative 3x minus 4y equals 2. So to get that x by itself, I'm going to add 4y add 4y, negative 3x equals 4y plus 2. Now let's divide by negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. The negative 3s divide out. And I get x is negative 4 over 3y minus 2 over 3. So we've solved our variable. We've isolated our variable. We know that x is equal to this quantity here, negative 4 over 3, y minus 2 over 3. So our next step is we want to substitute this expression into the bottom equation to our second equation in for the variable. So we have it solved for x, so let's put that value, that quantity, in here. And as I do this, I'm going to explain why I decide the steps are. Minus 6 over 3 plus 3y equals negative 3. Let's divide out. We get negative 4y minus 2 plus 3y equals negative 3. Now let's combine our like terms. So our like terms are here and here. Negative 4y plus 3y minus 2 equals negative 3. Negative 4y plus 3y is negative 1y minus 2 equals negative 3. Let's add the 2. Add the 2. So I'm going to get negative 1y equals negative 1. So I'm going to finish this up here. Negative 1y equals negative 1. Let's divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1 and we get y equals 1. So our value for y is 1. So if I write my solution here, we're going to figure out that x value. We know y is 1. So let's take, maybe let's take this bottom equation and substitute y, substitute the 1 in for y. So that 1, we're going to substitute in for y here. So I have 3x plus 3 times 1 equals negative 3. I get 3x plus 3 equals negative 3. Subtract 3, subtract 3. 3x equals negative 6. Let's divide by 3, divide by 3. And we get x equals 2, actually negative 2 if we're dividing a negative, so we're going to get x equals negative 2. So our solution here should be negative 2 and 1. Now I've got one more step that I'd like to do. Equals 2. I get 6 minus 4 equals 2, and I get 2 equals 2, so my answer checks. And then in the bottom equation, I get 3x plus 3y equals negative 3. And I get negative or 3 times negative 2 plus 3 times 1 equals negative 3. And I get negative 6 plus 3 equals negative 3. And then negative 3 equals negative 3. So my answer checks. So my answer of negative 2, 1 checked in both equations.
So this video is on solving systems of equations using the substitution method. I hope this video helped you guys understand this concept a little bit better. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the link for the video coming up right now, which is the introductory video on solving systems using substitution. This is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic.